Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Saturday, and I'm gonna be running some errands, uh, basically getting ready for more organization. So, I finally uh, unboxed some of these Aeon's End Games, specifically these two. Kind of put them together, but I'm realizing it might be a good idea for me to do some um, organization, like pick up some stuff that I might need uh, down the road. Plus, uh, my board game table. I haven't really talked about this. Let's move this out of the way. I haven't talked much about my board game table, but there's a major flaw with the design, and it's with these leaves. And the problem is, is these things slide just like that. And if you hit your belly or something, they're sliding all over. So I'm gonna look, see if I can find some way to get some like tack or something to kind of keep these, some, something to cause some friction. Because what ends up happening is the people sitting over here all of a sudden get a board in their belly. Super, super frustrating. So today we're probably run by Home Depot. See if we can find something for that. And then maybe Joanne's or something. See if I can find anything for the collection that I could use to uh, organize. So let's hit it. All right, guys. So we're here in Home Depot. Uh, looked around for a while. Actually asked for some people for some help. And they had no clue what I'm talking about. So I kind of had to do some digging because what I'm looking for is not something that's like, you have to think outside the box. So what I'm thinking are these. These are, um, these are the rubber stops for the like uh, cabinets. Like if you want to do some sort of cabinetry and you have those stops to prevent them from smashing the wood. I'm thinking that this is going to cause enough friction to solve my problem. So we're gonna pick these up, they're only four bucks. We're gonna go with these ones because they're circular, like circular. They're, they've got more surface area, so I think more surface area would cause more friction, which would mean less movement. So we're gonna try that. Okay, so we just finished in Home Depot. That took way longer than I anticipated. Uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted, but I knew I wanted something that would cause friction to stop the leaves from sliding. I explained my problem to several of the employees and like the first girl sent me to like duct tape and I think it's because I said like I'm looking for a tape or something that I can put the you know in between the leaves to cause friction and I think she keyed off on me saying tape sent me to duct tape another person sent me to velcro and I'm like the problem with velcro is I need to have it on both sides and I don't want to have I don't want to have whatever solution I'm looking for visible when I have the leaves off so I was hanging around in hardware because the last person said, try hardware, see if there's anything there. And that's where I saw these rubber fasteners. And I'm like, you know what? These probably will give me enough friction. The only thing I'm concerned with is if it has any lift. Is it gonna lift the uh, table leaves to a point where they're like unusable? So we'll try it. Um, it's four o'clock now. Again, that took way longer than I wanted to. I still have to run by the game store because I need to pick up some more uh, sleeves for um, Aeon's End because that has a lot more cards than I thought. I bought a thousand sleeves uh, of this higher quality sleeve and I've gone through every single pack. So that's, that's the thing. And I still have three boxes to go. And so I, I'm, I'm probably done opening them for a while until I play through some of the content, but I want to make sure I have sleeves available so when I'm ready to do another unboxing and, and continue uh, opening the new content, I have everything I need on hand. So we're probably going to go buy another thousand sleeves. So we'll head over there. I, I don't, I don't want to do any tours of the game stores right now, obviously, because um, I have other things I'm trying to work on. But we're gonna go pick up those sleeves. Maybe swing by Joanne's. It's just on the other end of town. We'll see. All right, so we're here. I think I found the sleeves that we go with. Standard card game value pack. Just gonna pick up a bunch of these. Probably buy all of them. Because why not? We're gonna need them anyways. So uh, we'll take these up. And there's also another game I wanna talk about. See what you guys think. Cause I thought I could swim But we break up every weekend uh, 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 uh. Was it gonna be like that? Oh, I just wanted you so bad 
So I noticed they had this game in here last time I came in, and this is a standalone copy for War of the Ring. It's like an alternate uh, pre-battle, and uh, I wanna know, what do you guys think? Is this, is this worth picking up? Is this something you actually need? Or would you ever just play War of the Ring? Like, when would you play this over War of the Ring? Let me. Okay, all done at the game store. I took some B-roll. Hopefully that turns into something nice. That's the store that I um, I usually pre-order my Kickstarters through if I don't back them myself uh, because the shipping is usually pretty good. And for the most part, they're very good about the pricing for Kickstarters. Like you get to get it for what the pledge level would have been minus shipping. There are a few times where they have raised the price on like CMOD products, which always makes me hesitate using them. But you know, for the most part, they're pretty good. So I didn't want to do a full like tour or anything. I, I plan on doing that in the future. Um, but I'm, I'm driving now, so I better I better stop doing this. You know, I'm, I'm watching the road, but can't do both. So talk to you guys soon. Okay, so back in the house, uh, just applied the stickers. Uh, these rubber ball things to the table and um, for the most part uh, this one I didn't apply any to because it has the corner piece so that still slides but this look at that no movement so obviously that works I might still put some there I only have uh, six left so two four and then six so I would be missing some here unfortunately so yeah I am I, I I'm not this is not a review for the origins table I plan on doing one but it's not gonna be a very good review I have been so disappointed with this table in fact while I'm putting the stickers on you know I had to flip these boards on their end to sticker them I flip it back and look what happened I mean that's just unbelievable like the whole chip and that's not the only thing uh, you can't see any here the other side there's some chipping that happens there the wood is just so incredibly oh shit soft incredibly disappointed but we're gonna finish this vlog up I did say I got this parcel and this is from Austin and Austin is the uh, the I, I don't know I don't know what his role is so he's one of the guys over at Ivy Studios. Let me fix this camera. So we're gonna open it up and see what the parcel is. I asked him if it's okay to show on camera and he, he seemed like, kind of made me give me the impression like <laughs> it's not like something anyone's gonna wanna see. But who knows, whenever I get something from a publisher, I like to check it out. So let's see what we got. It is very small. I thought it might be Moonrakers related because Moonrakers has um, an expansion coming to Kickstarter very soon to like really expand the game. So, oh, wow. Okay, Amora. I believe it's pronounced Amora. And uh, so I'm backing this on Kickstarter right now. And this is book one, and I'm really excited for it. And so I'm hoping that they fund, they were like 85% last time I checked. I'm like, please guys get there. And so this is a book that I really wanted to get for my daughter. I talked about how I really uh, enjoy stories with uh, empowering young girls uh, because I want my daughter to feel like she can do anything she wants, because she can. So. Anything that has a kind of a theme like that, I wanted to support. So thank you, Austin. I am so glad I got this. And uh, I can't wait for the Kickstarter to hopefully fund because that would be incredible. I, I got her um, in that pledge level. There's I got like the $95 pledge because it comes with a necklace. And I wasn't sure if the necklace was, I'm assuming it's gotta be something with a story, right? So my thought was, that I can get this necklace, put it in an in a ornate box, like a wooden box, dig it in a hole in the backyard, obviously know where it is. And then when my daughter's old enough, and when she's able to comprehend the story, uh, we were thinking about having like a treasure map and putting a treasure map on her wall now. 
and have it be clued to that where the where the box is. And you know, when she's older, you know, be like, you know, may, I think I understand where that treasure map's pointing. Maybe we should go on an adventure and see if we can find that treasure, and uh, see if we can find the necklace. I don't know. I think that'd be really special for her. I think that's a cool idea in general. You could do like a box of nickels, bury it in your grandparents' backyard, have the kids go on an adventure to find it, following the map, and they would just be so incredible thinking they're finding an actual treasure. I thought about that with like a treasure, like like pirate treasure or something. So, I don't know, but I, when I saw the, the necklace, I thought that might be kind of cool. Again, I don't know the relevance of the necklace, so I have to read this first to see if there's any sort of relevance now, but uh, thank you, Austin. There's also this, also this in there. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a note. I, uh, thank you, Austin. Austin has been, uh, I haven't met Austin in person. Austin is obviously one of the directors over at Ivy Studios. Uh, he also creates content on YouTube, although I haven't, I haven't watched one of his videos in a while. I'm not sure if he's still making videos. They were doing a lot for Mystic Mischief, and so he kind of slowed down on his backing, Ivy backed, which is what I liked, was his Ivy backed segment. But I've really, really gotten to like, I mean, I hope, I hope it's mutual, Austin, if you ever watch these. But I really got to like him as a friend. Um, he, we talked on the phone. We were going to talk about my first interview that I did with him, and we talked over an hour about Star Wars. We weren't even we weren't even talking about the interview in terms of like what we we're going to talk about. So we have some talking points. It was just talking Star Wars, the Clone Wars, the new movies, everything, and uh, really felt like we bonded and really enjoyed all of our conversations since then. So. Uh, thank you, Austin. I appreciate the pre-production copy of the book. I can't wait for the Kickstarter fund. I know it will. And uh, that's it. So for the vlog, I think that's about it. I'm going to potentially play a little bit more at the table. What do you guys think? Should I do a review of this thing? Would that be harmful for my brand uh, to to slam a table? I paid, I paid $3,500 for this table. And I am so disappointed. Like, I get it. If I paid like a thousand bucks and it's chipping one, but you paid $3,500, you expect a table to be uh, solid. I mean, here's another thing with this stupid table. See these these uh, USB ports? They're kind of cool, right? When they installed them, they put them like in the middle. I don't know if you can see this. This is probably so stupid of me. <clears throat> see those holes? They had them way over there, or right here. And so I had to move the thing over there. Like, I shouldn't have to be doing the work that makes sense. Like it should have been tucked in the corner from the get-go. That way people aren't hitting it with their legs. When they were here, you're constantly hitting it with your knee. So whoever thought of that, and that and that thing is, is they're on every single corner, right? So I had to do every single one like that. I don't know, man. Obviously they're 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 a poker table company trying to get into the board game space. I wanted to support it. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll Let's just end the vlog, Brian. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, guys. See you next week.